Hi guys, Miss Lisa here with a super fun activity. Did you know that you can make butter at home and all you really need are three things. First, you need some heavy whipping cream. Second, you need a container with a screw top lid. I've got this, I've also got a blender bottle, it works too. But this one, the lid stays on a little bit better than this. Um, you need either, this is one of those balls that goes inside the blender ball, or a couple of clean marbles works too. All you do is you open up your container, you put your agitator, which is a fancy word for something that's gonna stir the cream inside. Then we open up our heavy whipping cream and we pour it in. Now, the thing that makes butter is air being able to get inside the cream. So the more air that you have in your container, the faster you'll make butter. So it's important to not use all of the cream. I put about a half, three, four seven. If you want salted butter, you can add a little pinch of salt. It really doesn't take much because sweet cream butter tastes so much better than store-bought. Then you screw the lid on. Now, mom and dad, sometimes these lids are not perfect. So if you're worried, you can wrap it with saran wrap, put the whole thing inside of a Ziploc bag and zip it close. I would definitely recommend a double seal. Now, here's the fun part. You take this and you shake and you shake. Check back in and I'll show you what happens. So I've been shaking for about six or seven minutes. And if you'll notice, you can't really hear the sound of the shaker anymore. That's because it's starting to get thicker. Let's open it up and we'll show you what it looks like. So here is my whipped cream. Yep, that's whipped cream so far. That's the first stage of making butter. You'll see it's nice and thick, but it still moves a little bit. Now, if you wanna stop here, you can just add some sugar, put it on your favorite dessert. But I'm gonna keep shaking, and you should too. You don't really hear much, it's not as loud, but keep shaking until you start to hear the marble or the agitator again. All right, I'll check back in in a few minutes. So inside, you can see the butter has separated out, the um, buttermilk has separated out, and you just have to pour off the buttermilk into another container, and you're left with creamy butter. Keep shaking. I would recommend putting um, the butter in a strainer and let it drip so that all of the buttermilk is out. When you're all finished separating out your butter solids from your buttermilk, you're left with about a half a stick of butter, doesn't that look good? And about a half a cup of buttercream, perfect for pancakes or buttermilk biscuits in the morning. Now, what goes best with fresh butter? fresh baked bread. So tune back in for my next video on making bread with kids. Bye.